What's up? It's uh, been holiday. Well, kind of. I've been waiting for the results of my ERS mark, and I got them today. But uh, before any of that, I made a new intro, yo. <laughs> Hey, hey. Um, I'm at home, moved out of my room at Village, all is well, um, on holiday pending the results of this last test. That ERS test was so hard and so the marks should hopefully be coming out today or tomorrow because the SUP is like on I think Friday already. Um, so they really do need to tell us if people passed or failed or not. And I'm really stressed because the test is really hard. Um, but I'm distracting myself in the meantime by learning about Bitcoin mining. So, uh, the, if you know anything about Bitcoin, like the difficulty has gotten so much now that you can't mine profitably using just a computer. But I got it running on my computer anyway, just to learn about like the get the technical side of things and how you know I know how the blockchain works and that. And I'll leave a link to a video explaining blockchain and Bitcoin there if you don't know anything about it. But so I'm just using NiceHash on mine here, and my computer's been running all night, and I have so far earned. 0 0.34 rams excellent excellent in about 21 hours i will have earned um one rand and then i will definitely be switching off because it's just burning electricity if you look over here my uh, graphics card is running at 78 degrees at 100 percent capacity cpu as well in the background here is where uh, all of my bitcoin the mining is happening oh sharing my hashing power anyway it's such an interesting concept how the technology works and that and just really uh reading up about it and participating in it is it's fun even though it's not profitable and it's actually losing money because the electricity costs way more than you can make from the from the actual mining but it's interesting and I'm, i've been learning it and i'm procrastinating well not procrastinating i don't have any work to do but distracting myself from the reality of those marks coming out today hey look a payout's about to happen three two one in progress. What does that mean? It means I'm still poor. And then, yeah, I'm about to go cut some grass because the uh, grass is looking a wee bit long. Uh, now, because we've got quite a big garden, uh, it requires some specialty equipment. And here we see Farmer Williams Jr. <laughs> cutting the grass. Oh, is he gonna make a turn? Is he? Oh, he made it. Oh, he's clear, Dad. And we're running down the old battle. Hey, what's up? It's Thursday morning, I believe, today. It's my sister's last day of my trick. She's writing English today, so exciting for her. <sighs> the ERS marks still haven't come out. For fuck's sake, department, just release them already so I can start studying for the sub on Monday or not. <sighs> but anyway, had a chill day yesterday. Finally finished this personal MBA book. It was really good. I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, it took me like a year and a half to read just because varsity got in the way. I read lots of other books in between there, or I listened to them. But I finished it yesterday. Yeah, lots of stuff... Uh, about systems and business systems and then uh, different like marketing strategies and sales strategies finance all term uh, financial terms learning what they are profit margin income statement cost benefit analysis leverage opportunity cost amortization uh, fixed and variable costs value delivery um, value creation interesting stuff that one should think about when creating businesses or even when just trying to make anything that other people will use in the world and so, worth a read, I enjoyed it. Um, it's Black Friday tomorrow, won't be buying anything because I have no money, uh, but I did buy a 100 Rand course uh, web on web development on Udemy that had a sale, which I'm working through at the moment, so you can expect a website in the next uh, couple of weeks. It's about time I put one together, so I'm just enjoying working on that. And then, yeah, maybe just to edit a boring video together to put out into the world. Because not much exciting stuff is happening. And it's been nice the past few days to just relax and take a breather from Varsity. We'll get into the swing of things again in the next few days. Good morning. It's Friday morning now. We're still waiting for these ERS marks to come out. They're apparently supposed to come out early this morning, but it's now 20 past 10 and we're still waiting. For, um, 
whatever. I've uh, just been watching planes the whole morning um, on Flight Radar 24. Such an incredible app to be able to see the kind of planes that are taking off around you. Because uh, you always see planes in the sky, but you have no idea where they're going. Um, I'm waiting for this flight. It's from Johannesburg to Shenzhen in China to take off. I saw one coming in from Zurich earlier. Um, in my house, you can see, kind of see the Lanseria Airport runway. Uh, if you look hard enough, I've got a pair of binoculars as well. And you can see the planes over on this side from Watambo taking off. And so, it's so cool. Oh, there goes a jet uh, from Lanseria. And I don't know where it's going because it's not listed on the, um, on the app. It just says blocked. Yeah, about it's all its information. So I don't know where it's going. But oh, I've been so interested just watching it the whole morning. Um, and especially then when you go over and you zoom, oh, oh, there's an Emirates flight coming in. Oh, I'm definitely going to see that. Uh, but then you zoom in all the way out and you go over to places like New York, where it's the middle of the night right now. Um, and you see crazy scenes like this. Um, and it's just so incredible. They've got, I mean, obviously they've got three airports in New York. Um, but well, then to see the different, you can't see it right now, but earlier I looked at Chicago and you can see the different holding patterns uh, and you can see planes coming in. It's just so cool. You can see when you zoom out all the way and you look between the continents, you can see the different flight routes between different continents. Um, here you can see from east coast of America flying all the way over to England and to Europe. And if you scroll over to places like Dubai, and you can see these really cool flight paths here all the way up here through Iraq, Syria, Turkey, up towards Europe. Oh, it's just so interesting enough. So I so enjoy watching it. And apparently there's one for boats as well. So when I go down to Durban later in the holiday, I'm going to look at the boats one. But uh, it's just so cool here. I mean, you can see hot air balloons and you can see helicopters. And it's just, it's so cool. So enjoy watching it. Now I'm outside, uh, busy looking for a flight that's coming in from... Charles de Gaulle, Paris. Uh, it's only when you come outside or if you look at Flight Radar, Flight Radar 24 and you look at like, the amount of planes and that coming out through your area, you realize how many planes actually go around the world every day. Just in the last 20 minutes, I've seen a plane come in from Istanbul, I've seen one going out to Shenzhen, China, I've seen one come from uh, Charles de Gaulle, Paris. An hour ago, there was one from London, there was one from, there's two from Dubai in the next hour, there's one from uh, what's that other place? Zurich. It's just so cool to see the amount of air traffic in the sky. What's so interesting? What do you think, Rusk? You give a shit. You no, know, I don't. Just want to eat this grass. It's good for my stomach. You Griff, do you care about these aircraft? I said no. Excuse me for nerding out in today's video about business, Bitcoin, and aircraft, but uh, I'm trying to keep myself busy with something in these holidays. Sure. That was pretty stressful. The marks just came out for ERS. I got 53% for my exam. So I pass. Oh, my poor heart. So then uh, I got 67 for the semester. So I ended up with a final mark of 60 for ERS for digital systems, which is not great, but it was a super difficult test. I'm just looking here at like the marking logs and that. Like I managed to squeeze out some marks in the, um, in the strangest of places. Um, you know, 5 out of 6 for the first section, 11 out of 17 for the second, and then it just goes down and down and down with the difficulty. And look at this, 3 out of 14 for RTL design, 5 out of 6 for shifters, not bad. 2 out of 7 for the VHDL, yikes, 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 53%. Got 47 marks out of 90. So, uh, cutting it a bit fine, but uh, in summary for the semester, uh, in total, finishing second year of computer engineering, I didn't take 238 maths because I didn't get into it. But then for ELI, linear systems, I get 57. Digital systems, ERS, I get 60. Stats, BES, I get 71. And 263, numerical methods, maths, I get 60. So, not a bad set of results. Um, not at all. Can finally relax a bit and <laughs> enjoy the holiday now because I don't have to write any subs. So, life is good. I think I do have to go to campus next week though to sign up for NMC Summer School in January because I need to repeat that in January, and I think we have to go to campus to do that, but um, it's all good. Holiday has started, and uh, time to chillax. There's my sister coming up. We're taking her to the airport later, because she's going to rage today. All is well.